Okay, uh, I am... A little scared here. Hmm. Did I already take the hit? Yep, right there. I need something that's a lot farther away, I think. At least I didn't waste my attack boots, I guess. me when I'm shielded? You can. That's definitely something that's good to take note of. So definitely something that can keep me far away, so Ranger might be a good idea. Trying to um, obviously focus on one of them at a time would be good. Dodge rolling probably is a good idea. Obviously, just stay away from you when you're chasing me. Especially because that's a good time to hit you. Okay. I think if I complete the stage, I'll at least learn what the, um, other objective is. So we'll take a look at that. Might as well grab this too since it's right here. Is it gonna be like... It can't possibly do, be do all of it without taking damage if one of them is beat that boss without taking damage. Take a detour and find a maximum tomato. I don't know where that is, but okay. So there's a bonus somewhere. Then we had Rato. Oh, beautiful. Fluoratronado. At least we got something new there. I think I did a slowdown as ice. Somehow. Um, return back to Waddledee Town. We don't have to get all the power ups, we just have to find that Maxim Tomato. I feel like Ranger would be the best option. Boomerang, I think, is a little too, like... How powerful is Ranger compared? Power is one, but it's fast. Power is one, but it's also kind of fast. This is faster, though, so probably better. Just do the distance and shoot them. Uh, I was gonna say, I think it probably would be good to try to do a good dodge. I think I would technically be safe as a tornado, but I also think I would maybe have difficulty keeping myself from taking damage when we- Ooh! I forgot about the pictures. Look! <laughs> Bandana Waddledee was with us all along. I like that we have a Meta Knight picture. I'm guessing that wall is going to be nothing but, like, arena stuff. Oh, let's try to find that hidden tomato, and then we'll see if shooting works. I don't know, maybe I'll, um, avoid trying to do this one, too, until we get more power-ups that might be better. I'm sure there will be better things for this challenge. I might actually have to look up where this tomato is. I have no idea where it could possibly be. Unless if I just keep going backwards. Or if it's in one of the side paths that I missed a... Thought I saw something down there, I was wrong.
Alright, well, let's see how well we can do. I think I might see where it could be. Already failed. Awesome. Couldn't have charged my attack. Well, let me practice my dodges then. Oh, you just keep going with that. I hate when I accidentally dodge into you. Oh, that sucks that, like, you're... Okay, so I really shouldn't dodge that hard. But I should try to learn how to dodge everyone else. Everything else. Because it is beneficial. Mm. I guess I could always try to just get the stars too. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Whatever. I saw what looks like a... There's like some weird shine going on over there. Like a fake wall? You see that, right? That's not even... It's not really a fake wall. I guess I'll look around for this tomato right now. I got a surprise alien board. So instead of cool dodging with range, I should probably actually just go to Waddledee Town. Um, I'm going to try fire, I think. Because obviously they're made out of ice. But also... Was there something new over there? With the fishing area? Uh, oh no, Kirby fell! Kirby! Let me look at this fishing area real quick. Oh no, that's just where you do... I don't know why I thought that was um a different spot. Well, I'm thinking, because I was thinking about, like, either the needle arm, not needle arm. This might be good for, like, quick rolling into them. But I don't think that lasts long enough to really be a good, like, get out of their card. This has good distance on it, though. And speed. And fire hasn't let me down yet, right? I don't think. I could also actually use my attack boost. That might be good. Dodge roll. I also haven't used this in a bit, so let's... Gamble. Crab. Crab's free. Popcorn. Hamburger? That has cheese on it. That's a cheeseburger. Come on. Milk bottle. Are you a baby Kirby? <laughs> baby game for Kirby. I like how both of them are on this one. Raburu and Araburu. The little one? That's Raburu. The big one? That's Araburu. The O is for, oh my gosh, look at how high they can jump. Try not to be under one when they land. Their fellow critters like to pet them because they're so fluffy. Don't touch the tail. They hate that. We got hammer. And we got a repeat. All right, let's get out of here. I love how this has like a... Like, just a dragon hand on Kirby's head. Really funny. Do you think Waddle Dee Town's gonna get any bigger than this? It kind of looks like it would have everything that you would think it would have, but who knows. 
Alright, before I cut ahead to when I try to fight the twin Frosties again, I did look up where the maximum tomato is. And it is just over here. Which I would have checked out the first area, but uh, I figured I might as well just look it up just in case. Because I, I probably would have walked around here, but maybe not gone into that little hole. But uh, yeah, so after that, hopefully we can actually beat these guys quick. I'm going to use my attack boots, I think. Didn't want to drop my ability. I'm going to use my uh, attack boost and hope that this helps a little bit. Hopefully I don't screw up immediately. That was pretty good. Also, I think I definitely got hit while defending, but I think I actually didn't take damage. So, lucky me, because I didn't dodge good. But uh, it worked out. Attack boost is pretty cool. And uh, firepower just seems kind of busted, honestly. We can finally move on to the boss fight. Anything new? Nope. Anything new? Yes, look at that one. I like that. I like that he's doing the slam. Big old sword man. I, I don't know who we're fighting here. Some kind of like Hall of the Mountain King kind of thing going on. This is like a crazy building. Do we have any like lore on this building? Whose building is this? Who built this? Wow. Yeah, this is really foreboding. Some cages here. Gonna be the same amount of objectives, basically. I don't think we need it that, but pick it up. Have my attack boost. Maybe it'll help me beat the boss quick. Let me pass. Very exciting stuff. Doesn't look like we can go to the side. So we're just going right in. It's a bird! Oh. Oh, I see who it is. I guess that makes sense. It basically implied that we should have known who it was. He has, he has like dogs with him, but they're like powerful dogs. Oh, she's so scary. Did you see how much damage I already did? Oh, shockwave. Where does dogs go? Oh, uh, not what I expected to happen there. Which is a shame, because I, I think he's doing normal DDD attacks. Oh, the shockwave. I, like, the, the problem with that is I dodged out of the way correctly, but the shockwave was still there. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Look at this guy! Look at what it... DDD! Weren't supposed to be a badass! I guess I did do a lot of damage because I had the um, the attack boost on. All right, we we definitely cleared it in time. Homing bomb blueprint. What if I suck you up, DDD? 
Hmm, nothing. Do we have to, like, beat him with hammer? Homing bomb seems kind of cooler than chain bomb. He's just getting up. Where is he going? Oh, look, he looks so pissed. Oh, we can swallow his hammer? Is he capturing? Look, look, he's ready. To he's going to just catch us. Kirby, get out of the way! Kirby! Oh, not us. Just our friend who I don't care about. But they probably cared about him. So... I might try to stack attack boosts on DDD. Oh. I, I knew there would be like more, but I guess we're just going over the sea to get there. And we did read something about desert. Ooh. Oregonal Wasteland. Elphalyn has been captured by King Diddity. Explore the next area and save Ephelin. No. I like the uh, desert boat. Desert boats are always cool. Wait, what was that title? The Wastes Where Life Began? Oh my god, that's pretty sick. A rival continent? Then I like there's a tree way in the distance. I guess that's the direction we're going. Also, wait, 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 wait. Money. Money, I'm surprised. Oh, that's the gate. I, th I thought that was like a portal. Oasis field. This area looks neat. The like house there. I want to at least see the, uh, the lighthouse is cool too. Scissor lift mouth treasure. Maybe we'll do that actually. Maybe not. I kind of really want to deal with King DDD really quick. Well, that's a real hidden one. Water balloon. Well, these sound like fun. Um, okay, let's head back then to just fight DDD. I'm, I'm guessing that is the last. Er oh, that's the forbidden. Well, it's Forbidden Island, but I'm going to say that's more so the Forbidden Lands than where we were before. Oh, I forgot I wanted to shoot. Well, I guess we'll spend this time just kind of learning a bit more about the patterns and getting DDD's hammer. And by this time, I mean, I don't think we're really going to do too much with this. We'll, it's probably when he uh, drops it, when he picks up the pillar or something, I can suck it up. That's going to be my guess. And we'll see. There's one other bonus objective I don't know about besides take no damage, which is going to be obvious. Where does dogs go during that fight? Oh, they die quick, actually. I tried to jump. Still got hit there, that sucks. Oh, there is where I can drop, probably grab his hammer. And then he just, okay, that makes sense. So once he gets to that second phase, he just immediately doesn't even feel like it anymore. But yeah, I don't think this will be too difficult to beat without taking damage. I just want to do it faster, I guess. Does he still get up and, like, walk behind you? Even when there's no one around? Cool. 
clear without guarding. I mean, I, I won't be able to do the no damage like that, but I can do that quick. Going, going back in again. One waddle at a time. I'll just do this one again, and then I'll go and get, like, the five attack boosts. I'm curious to see how much damage that really does, because I'm already, like, cleaning house pretty nicely. Just with the, uh, fire, the dragon power as it is. Shockwave keeps getting me. Actually, the fact that I'm doing this so poorly probably is going to get me killed. Never saw that before, the like super jumps. Brute force because I didn't feel like worrying about dodging or doubt. Kirby is the winner again. Should see, too, if there's anything interesting in Waddle Dee Town after what happened. Oh, right, I forgot we got the bomb upgrade, too. Bandana seems bummed. Ethelin got captured by King DDD. That sounds odd, even for him. I hope they're both okay. We can't just stand around. Let's go save Elphalin. You can use me in co-op if you really want to. I'm so lonely here. Whoa, is that a homing bomb blueprint? I want to make it. Gimme, gimme. All right, let's me do the thing. You know, it's the same thing. Oh, it's still more powerful too. I kind of thought it would maybe be less powerful just because it's going to be more convenient. Chain Bomb seems like a neat gimmick, it's just I wasn't good at using it. But if something can make it so I basically always hit, then yes please. Ooh, it's all sparkly. It's home- oh, it's cute. So it looks like it still needs to like get into the range, but that's kind of fun. Toss a homing bomb, then watch it get it, uh, get to work. It'll patrol the area until it spots an enemy, then race towards them and explode. Chain bombs together to corner your foe. Wait, do they... They do have chain effect too. That's actually wild. And they just kind of keep going. 
Not bad. And Kirby looks cute with it on. I'm still gonna use firepower for this, though. Although I am gonna go gamble before we go and buy a bunch of attack boosts. Flipper! Popcorn. Damn. Because we got Blipper when we did, that means we uh, didn't get a freebie. What a tragic life. He's still reading over there. I also feel like it's very empty in this general region. I wonder if something else is going to show up here. Buy it. I'm not going to worry about uh, my health. Nope, not what I wanted to do. I'm not going to worry about my health right now because it, um... There's the maximum tomato, like, right in front. Okay, this will be the second one. Oh, that adds time. Does this only stack time, actually? This might only stack time. Uh, oh well. Guess this will be more convenient while I make attempts. Increase your attack power for 200 seconds. Stack up to five at once. It, it, it probably only does time. It probably is only time. I was hoping that there'd be a button to just return the world map. Well, that's a bit embarrassing. But the attack boost will still help with the, uh... The boss fight, I guess. I just need to remember that the shockwave happens when he does his jumping attack. And also, his quick dive towards you is a bit fast, a bit quick, making it a quick dive. I don't think, I don't know. Also, I'm not so sure about the timing when he's using the uh, stone column. See how much damage we do here, but I'm, I'm gonna say it's probably only gonna be about as much damage as you would get from. Yeah, jumping that probably is the best option. Got to this phase without taking the hit, at least. Hopefully we can get enough damage done while he's, um, doing the slam on the ground, because that seems pretty straightforward. Oh, come on. That's a terrible spot for you to do that in, man. Uh, so I, I can't preempt him. I thought he would always do that in the center of the screen, but he um clearly tracks you with that one. So I was kind of stuck in the corner. I guess I should have tried to do a perfect dodge instead of jumping it. The unexpected Beast King. Well, it's a good thing I have all of this time on my attack boost. Also, if I had timed some of those dodges a bit better, I would have been able to get some good hits in. And those wings do actually add a bit more hitbox to my uh, dash forward. It's just if I end up too close to where the enemy is, 
kind of ruins it for me. Good damage. I like that damage. Also, of course, his music is slick. Make sure I'm in the middle there. And my mistake from last time. Come on, come on. And, 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 yep, super easy. And then before you can even start slamming, that those attack boosts sure are helpful. I don't think I would have been able to get as much damage off without them. I also have no idea whether or not they stack their attack, like, multiplier or whatever the attack boost actually does. But it worked out. Look at Kirby's styling on DDD. Nice. All right, so now we're done here. We can go to the Forgotten Land. I mean, sorry, Forgotten Island. It's different. Get going. I'm sorry, the Forbidden Island. Wait, 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 was it Forbidden? The, the name of the game is Forgotten Land. Wait, I need to go back. I need to look real quick. It was, it's Forgotten Land. I don't know why I got all excited, like, this is the real Forgotten Land. We're all in the Forgotten Land right now. 